Okay. Huh? I want to advise you like a sister. If you don't like the advice, you can throw it away. But keep me as a sister. Hey, do I care? I beg talk. Slow down on Dr. Bayon now. He's a married man. I don't tell you this thing before. I beg now. Hey, Wahala. What if he is married, Chola? He came to me by his own free will to stab me like a bread. I accepted. See, eh, that guy, he's the bottom of my bread in this school, I swear. He's so good. Hey! Oh! See, hmm? have you thought of his wife? What about his wife? This is injustice to her now. You are stealing from her. Eh, eh, what exactly am I stealing from her? Her man. Which man? He is still her man, mind you. I, I, I don't have any intention of taking him from her. He's just a willing ATM, you know, for maintenance. You are stealing his money and his time. Eh. So what about Janet and other girls? Eh? So I should now reject the money. Other girls will not accept it willingly and happily. Especially that Lai Lai Belema of a girl. I heard my name. What have I done? What have you not done again? You're always doing things and things now. Nah. What have you not done? Titi, no quiet today now, nah, please. I'm in a bad mood today. I need help. I really need help now. Help? What kind of help? I need help, Dr. Ben. Now you're confusing me. All of you in this department keep confusing me up and down. Hey, baby, you know I'll be help center in this school. Just tell me what you want. You know, I'll give it to you. See, babes. Don't be me write that exam. And Dr. Ben has found that. <laughs> Belema! Belema! <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Chitty, did you stop laughing? We find out. Chitty, stop now. This is not funny. How would you do that kind of a thing? Say, like, yeah, so be. Ah! <laughs> Titi! She's cute. Belema! Belema! Why, Belema, what are you going to do now? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Belema! Ah! Who you, you? Who you, you? <laughs> Titi, stop. You are getting me annoying. Stop. <laughs> I swear. Belema, smile small now. At least now that we are with you, <laughs> you cannot spend good time with somebody and scare you from school. Titi, <laughs> Belema, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Huh. I can't help you. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. Thank you. Is it time for my class? No, sir. No, sir. We came to discuss something very important with you, sir. Are you guys ready to go to the point? Oh, or yes. Or would you rather come back later? Oh, yes. Sure, sir. If you give us the permission, we yeah. will. Yes, sir. We will. Go ahead. I'm all ears. Okay, sir. Is it about uh, Ms. Dibia Belema? Which of the Belemas? Sir, the one that petitioned Dr. Bayo, the fine, fair girl, sir. Oh, that is that girl. Are you sure she's a bona fide member of this university? Yes, yes sir. sir. She, she is. She, she, it's just that uh, from the beginning of the semester, she has been facing a lot of challenges, sir. Uh, enough to accuse the senior lecturer of this department of sexual harassment. Sir, you can... Okay, sir. It, it's just that uh, last semester before the exam, uh, I was going to run away with their two kids. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. I even showed their house. You know, this moment made her run mad. You know, with a thing like that. So is that why she used uh, missionary to write exams? Why then did she accuse Dr. Bai of sexual harassment? Sir, we needed to have seen her in class. She she started taking off her clothes. And I think even up to now said she's not mentally balanced. Why would the husband do that? Uh, it could be that she's a bad wife and giving the man hell at home. But she doesn't even look married, talk less of two kids. Doc, you know how slim people hardly look married these days? Mm. If you should remember her well in class, you will notice she hardly talks. Have I ever seen her in class before? But how is she coping now? Okay, Doc, we, we don't want to waste your time for that, sir. You know, we, we don't need you to 
to speak with the dean, you know, maybe he can tamper just it with Mrs. Yes, sir. The, the dean is a father. I know you'll understand. I need you two to tell her to come and see Dr. Helen by 3 p.m. today. Okay, sir. We will, sir. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Now you what we've been doing with air, then for no catch that. I bet job five. Oh God! Well, you are good. You are very good. You are very sharp. You are very sharp. Now you your husband did. Oh, for no catch that. Oh, my. See, come on, cap for you. My God! Two labor bars. Hey, anyway, you must not be bothered. 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 Yeah, next time to meet Dr. Hell to not go and pour hands with him. True, 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 true. Miss, you know, go there, go move. Go wait, though. How you take? How you take the reason this kind of thing, guy? Hey, Dr. Hell, you know, 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 you one, both girls wrote the examinations by proxy. Hence, I could no longer continue with the allegation of sexual harassment. Please, I'm not understanding. Can you further explain what you mean by this? The Jennifer girl confessed to me. Why the Bilema girl did something very strange when I demanded that she confirms her writing. You wouldn't believe what she did, Doc. <laughs> Okay, as long as it's coming from you. The young lady came to my office and tried to switch me. <laughs> you don't mean it. What? Yes. Unbelievable. Yes. Uh -uh. So why then did they allege um, Dr. Bayo be this whole sexual harassment thing with Dr. Bayo? I really didn't know why. I quickly had to run out of my office and open the door and ask her out hmm. before I become the next Joseph. <laughs> Well, <laughs> Dr. Bayer has escaped once again. And that's in Doc. What is it? I was informed that she was married and had two kids. And what's the connection with what we have to do? Can you please explain? Yes. Belema, I was informed that before the last semester exams, the husband sold their house and took off with the two kids. She became depressed. Hence, the mercenary and desperation to pass. What? Wow. This is deep. I don't know what they are waiting for. Wow. Guys, Papa, how did it go? Did they allow you guys to Money. Quickly. Please, please now. Or do you want me to go to my room and discard myself from this school before I become a laughing stock? No, no, I am not going to do that. Then you push your talk now. Oh, no. If we not talk, what do you go to? Then chop them now, who cares? Please, oh, I care. Titi, Dan, please now. Well, you have to assure me that you buy me lunch today before I open my mouth to say anything. Me, I don't know about Dan. In fact, eh, I will buy you lunch for a week. I promise. Okay. Now, person like you are they like. No hodls at all. When you hold the money, you know how to use it. Eh? Can I hear it now? Oh, yeah, Dan. Permission granted. Mm, Fire on. Eh? It's just that I have to have it in mind from today that you are married and you have to keep <laughs> your husband run away with your belongings, with your children. <laughs> and that why you're behind. Mm -hmm. The uh, machinery to write exam for you. I also got the press as a result of that. Mado! Mado! Chineke! What of Africa? I beg, hey. who bring this paru? Who else? Give all the bodies of them on that. Hey. Hey. Why hey. you try? You try. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's shocking. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot uh, believe right now. Talk about me now. I mean, you put eye on your ass down and beg to lie for me. You don't believe me. Titi. Give me this reunion. Ah.
The miracle came from two notorious members of our class. <laughs> so you never come up for the problem. Your mouth on the sharp, Abby. Ah ah. First look with you. Nice to face with you. Ah titi. Don't come up for the problem already, I beg. Even if say that the devil himself, she faced with this kind of story. The man will come out cap, give a special AC for her. I don't have to do <laughs> that. Yeah, leave me to wait. Eh. But I want you guys, I hope you can be able to put a convincing act when you need to help me. That is the one reason we we'll all go into the office with her. Hey, hey, you know, count me out. I have a lot of respect for her. Like what, Dan? Like what? The problem you created. Come on. Hmm, yes, Dan. Come to think of it, do you think this is the right time for you to start doing this? Uh-uh, you've just helped someone out. Uh, if you have to allow me help another person. See, I really do appreciate. I am really very grateful. And you know it. Please, just come with me. Join me to see Dr. Okay. Helen. Please, now. <laughs> Wait, why are, you, why are you guys acting like it's just Dan that did the whole thing? If I had not supported Dan now, Belema, you'll be crying by now. Oh, how will you say that? What are you not saying? What are you not saying, Madam Solution Provider? Hey, hey. What I am saying is, you guys should allow Dan to evaporate if he wants to. <laughs> Me, I am here to see the effective and successful conclusion of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> As for me, I would suggest you and uh, go with her to Dr. Helen's office. Yes, I think you and Dan can come with me to Dr. Helen's office. Please, please, please. I will, I will go with you. You understand? But don't remember that you owe me one. Sure, no. No, they didn't owe me one. And me too. Hey, you did not give you money already. What are they giving you? Okay. I don't call you for Plus the food. Ah ah, thank you. you. Let's go. go. That class will soon start so before the man will come. Let's go. And later. Uh,